nine, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. And the liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon spacecraft, packed with science and supplies for the International Space Station, humanity's home in low Earth orbit. And the Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. SpaceX ascent commentary is performed by several people. The propulsion Vehicle engineer calls damage. out propulsion events. The avionics engineer calls out avionics health and dragon separation. The range coordinator calls Air Force satellite control network acquisition and loss of signal. And the ground station specialist calls out the SpaceX antenna acquisition and loss of signal. Two minutes 35 seconds into flight the nine merlin engines will sequentially shut down you'll hear the term miko which means main which main engine cutoff You're watching News Now, part of Fox10Phoenix.com. NASA TV providing us this launch. Pretty cool, right, everybody? All right, well, some of you are like, what's going on? It seems like SpaceX does a ton of launches and none of this ever gets old, right? They just launched a resupply mission to the International Space Station. Took off from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. SpaceX says that its unmanned Dragon spacecraft will separate from its Falcon 9 second stage rocket about 10 minutes after liftoff and reach the ISS on Wednesday. The mission, which is SpaceX's 14th cargo launch, is carrying food and equipment to the orbiting space lab. It's filled with 5,800 pounds of supplies, payloads, and vehicle hardware, including critical materials to directly support science and research investigations that will occur on board the orbiting laboratory, SpaceX said in a statement. Equipment on board includes a lightning tracker, a material science facility, and two student genetics experiments. The Dragon capsule was previously used on the CRS-8 mission to the ISS. Almost, well, exactly two years ago, April 2016. The mission's Falcon 9 first stage rocket was previously used in the CRS-12 mission in August 2017. Wow. Just on Friday, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket successfully launched 10 next generation satellites for Iridium Communications from California. While SpaceX is committed to a strategy of spectacularly returning its boosters to Earth in an attempt to reduce the cost of spaceflight, there are no plans to recover the Falcon 9 rocket technology after today's launch. Pretty cool, huh?
We are just past five minutes into the flight of Dragon. This is at New Hampshire. Coming up at the 9 minute, 7 second mark after launch, the second stage engine cuts off. This is called Seco. One minute later, at a mission elapsed time of 10 and 7 seconds, Dragon separates from the Falcon 9 second stage, and seconds later, Dragon will reach its, will reach its preliminary orbit. Stage two trajectory nominal. Stage one, AFTS has saved. And we are less than a minute away from Seco. That's the second stage engine cutting off. Stage two terminal guidance. Stage two, AFTS has saved. Yes, you go. And the second stage Merlin engine has shut down. Coming up at about 12 Good minutes into flight, insertion. the Dragon will deploy its solar arrays. Acquisition of signal Newfoundland. And you're looking at a live shot from Mission Control in Houston.
Dragon separation confirmed. And we have confirmation of dragon separation. You can see this shot on your screen now. Inside the trunk, you can see some unpressurized cargo. That'll be making its way to the space station. We are nearing the solar array deploy on the Dragon. They are folded accordion style to the side of the Dragon spacecraft. And we are standing by for a visual confirmation of Solaroid deploy. And there you have it. Dragon is in its array of to state. The solar arrays of the Dragon being deployed. The signal at New Hampshire is expected. And as the Dragon unfurls its solar wings, the spacecraft will continue on its journey to the International Space Station. The Dragon will arrive at the space station on Wednesday, April 4th. NASA television coverage begins at 5.30 a.m. Eastern, following at 8.30 a.m. Eastern with installation.